In this video, I want to have a look at a couple terms. I want to look at stroke volume. I want to look at end diastolic volume and end systolic volume. And all of these are tied around the functioning of the ventricles. I'm only going to draw on one side, but what happens in one ventricle happens in the other. So let's start with some of these terms. And let's start with the term end diastolic volume. Now, let's break it down. So it's the end of the diastolic phase. So that's the end of the relaxation phase. That's what that's going to be. The term end systolic volume is the end of systole. And what we're looking at is the amount of blood in the ventricle under both these conditions. Let's then, since the heart is sort of a, on a cycle of contraction and relaxation, we could start anywhere here. But why don't we start with the um, heart ha or the ventricle has just contracted and now it has relaxed. It's popped back open. So it's relaxed and it's lost most of the blood that was in it. Now, that being said, is that ventricles don't eject all the blood with them. So at the end of a contraction, there will be some blood left in the ventricle. That we're going to call end systolic volume. The amount of blood in the ventricle at the end of systole, the contraction. So let's just make note of that. So this would be end systolic volume would be here. Now, of course, blood will move from the atria into the ventricle. As the ventricle starts to fill, then we're going to get to the point where we're going to add more blood here. And let's we've added more blood here. And the combination of both the blood that was here and the blood that I've added to the ventricle now becomes my end diastolic volume. So both of these together are my end diastolic volume. And what does that mean? At the end of the diastolic phase, which is a relaxation phase, that is the amount of blood that is in the ventricle. So we have end systolic volume, the amount of blood left over from the last contraction. And then I'm going to add blood from the atria and both the end systolic and the new blood in combination will become the end diastolic volume. Now at this point, the ventricle has received the blood and it will start its contraction. So of course, I'll get ventricular contraction and I will get ejection of the blood. Now, not all the blood is going to leave, but some of that blood will leave. So some of that blood will leave, and I'm left with, with some blood, okay? Now, the term stroke volume is the term for the amount of blood that will leave, will leave here. So that's stroke volume. Now, you may see a related term called an ejection fraction. And an ejection fraction, instead of being expressing the amount of blood leaving in terms of how many milliliters of blood left, which would be stroke volume, is a percentage. So it would be 50%, 60% of the blood left. So those are some basic terms when it comes to uh, blood volumes within the ventricle. I have my end systolic volume, the amount of blood left after the last contraction. Blood is added from the atria. That combination of the blood is end diastolic volume. And the amount of blood that is uh, pumped out of the ventricle would be my stroke volume. So that's just a quick video looking at some of these basic terms when it comes to the volume of blood in the ventricles at uh, different parts of the cardiac cycle. And just a reminder, what happens in this ventricle is also happening in the other ventricle. Okay, so that's a quick uh, uh, overview of that, and we'll move on to the next video.